Hey guys, it's been a few months since I've done empties. I've actually been collecting them since we moved back to Kansas and I have a whole bag full of them. So I thought we would go through them. It's been about four months, so maybe that'll be sort of my benchmark if we do it. Once every four months, we'll sort of see how much I've been using. So let's just go ahead and dive in. I'm just gonna pull stuff out at random. Here on top, I have a empty Vanilla Co. Clean It Zero, which is my favorite balm cleanser. It is so good and it is completely empty. I emptied that sucker. I used every last bit of it. It's so good. That being said, this one does have mineral oil in it. So I am currently using the Vanilla Clean It Purity, which is mostly argan oil, I think. So we'll see when that shows up in the next empties video, but I love this stuff. It's amazing. Next I have a moisturizer. This is Peter Thomas Roth Camu Camu Moisturizer. I really love this stuff. It's great, but the applicator is really stupid. So it's one of these pump top things um, where you push it down and then it comes out at the top and you have no warning of when you're about to run out. It's just one night you go to push it and nothing comes out. So I actually like took the whole thing apart so that I could get into the inside and see how much there was and the answer was not a lot. So at least it does a good job of getting it all out, but you have no warning of when you're about to run out, which is really frustrating. Another skincare item, this is the Fresh Black Tea Eye Concentrate. Again, completely empty. I got every last bit of it. I really liked this, but I don't feel like it's quite moisturizing enough for my under eyes. I have quite dry under eyes when the rest of me is pretty oily, so I find that interesting, but I liked it. I just used it in conjunction with maybe an oil or something else to help it be moisturizing enough. Another skin thing, this is another cleanser, the Tatcha Oil Cleanser. I adore this stuff, don't get me wrong, it's really good. It works really well, the texture is beautiful, the scent is really unoffensive, but it's so expensive and there are so many other oil cleansers that work just as well, honestly. So if you want to sort of treat yourself, Tatcha Oil Cleanser is a great choice, but if you just want an oil cleanser that gets off your makeup, it's not really worth the money. This is the last skincare one and it's really sad. Uh, this was my cognac sponge and my dog got to it. Actually, I don't know if my dog got to it or my in-law's dog got to it. I think maybe it was that one. Either way, a dog chewed on it and it is no more. I love cognac sponges though. They're really great if you've never used one but you like really gentle physical exfoliation. Get one of these, they're awesome. I have a couple samples in here. You saw me use the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I did not like that stuff. It was not meant for me. And also the NARS Eyeshadow Primer, which I liked fine. It worked fine, but honestly, when it comes down to it, I don't want to have to deal with the packaging that the NARS Eyeshadow, comes, Eyeshadow Primer comes in because it's one of those doe fit applicators you're never going to be able to get it all out, which is really frustrating to me. So I decided not to purchase that. I have so many mascaras. <laughs> So many mascaras! Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's just go through these one by one. Uh, Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express was fine, but I don't remember liking it that much. Like, I don't remember disliking it, but in my memory, it's just yet another mascara. It's the HBG Fairy Drops, which people just rave about uh, in terms of like their favorite mascaras, their favorite Korean mascaras especially. But uh, because I don't speak Korean, I picked it up in hot pink instead of brown or black, so I didn't really get a lot of use out of it. That being said, I liked it when I did use it, I just didn't ever use it, so I decided to throw it away. People rave about this. If you ever see it, I would say pick it up, but don't get the pink one. Next, I have the Sephora Outrageous Curl, and you know what? It might curl your lashes, but this is the dumbest brush, and the thing is, this is not just the mini brush. This is what the brush looks like on the giant one. It's this long, and I think those bristles are maybe like two millimeters tops. Like, it just gets everywhere. It's stupid. It's not worth it. I don't, do not recommend. Next is the Lancome Grandiose Mascara, which when it came out, there were a lot of people raving about it, and now I don't really see many people using it. I feel like the neck thing was a gimmick, and it's really expensive, and yes, they did. I think they did put more in here than normal. Yeah, this one is 0.3 fluid ounces, and this one is... 0.35. So it does have a little bit more product in it, but the thing is I never finish a mascara before it's like too old anyway. So eh, eh, whatever. And then I have three that I used until they were done. So I have the Kat Von D Immortal Lash, which I did like quite a bit actually. I like the brush. It has two different 
styles of brushes, one at the tip and then one for the rest of it. And it works really well. It was not crazy volumizing, but it did a pretty good job of curling and separating. I have the Peter Thomas Roth Lashes to Die For. I really would die for, yeah, they were great. Uh, this brush is fantastic. It's really conditioning for your lashes, I guess. It's supposed to be good for them. I mean, he has a skincare brand. Um, I really liked this. It was very natural, very lengthening and separating. And then finally, the Clinique High Impact Mascara. This might be my favorite mascara right now. If I had to go buy a new mascara because somehow I didn't have any more, like that's ever gonna happen, I think I would go buy this one. The brush is big, but not too big. It is natural bristles, which I think I prefer. Uh, pretty volumizing, but not like terrifying spider lashes. Pretty lengthening, but not like I can't wear glasses with them. So I like this one a lot. It's a solid all-rounder. This is also ridiculous. I have three of my eyebrow pencils in here. The <laughs> How does that even happen? To be fair, one of them is in Zero Four Midnight Brown because this is from before they actually came out with the new ones. So I have one that was too dark and then I've gone through two of my normal ones since January. I have two nail polishes. They are base and top coats. The Essie Good To Go Top Coat and Grow Faster Base Coat. Um, they don't look empty, but that's because I don't think I've ever finished a nail polish before it got too gloopy to use. So. Uh, this worked fine. It wasn't like a miracle worker, but the base coat was good. And the top coat actually I liked a lot. It was fairly shiny. Plus it did dry pretty fast, which is of course a must have in my life. And with that, we're almost done. We have four eyeliners. So first I have a gel eyeliner. This is the Essence Vintage District, which I think was their summer collection 2013. Uh, in 01 Portobello Road. Shopping Portobello Road? Oh, shopping at Portobello Road. There we go. That's what all of this. So it's this really pretty teal gel liner and I did really like it. Uh, the color is beautiful, but it never really set when I was using it. So I always had to put a powder over it, which is a little frustrating. I, it's just one more step that I want to deal with. Plus at this point, it's like a year and a half old. So I have a Maybelline Define A line in brownish black and it is empty. This is like my go-to brown uh, like retractable pencil. I really love these. They're soft, they smudge well, but once they set, they set, they don't move. I think this is something I've been using since like high school actually, which is quite a long time ago now. So this is a classic for me. Then I have two liquid liners. I have the Stila All Day Liquid Liner in the shade is Cobalt. It's very bright blue. The first time I used it, I loved this stuff. It was awesome. Then I went to use it like a week later, and it was like all dried out. And to be fair, it has stayed at about this level for about a year, but the first time I used it, it was like the bluest blue. And if I really press on it, you can see how much bluer that is than just like a little line. I don't know. I really loved it and then it just sort of failed and it made me really sad. So my last empty is the Kat Von D tattoo liner, which I, of course I already have another one of. Actually both of these I got for free from work, but I would absolutely pay for this every single time. It's so good. I, I never want to use another black liquid liner ever again because it's just so good. If you haven't used it, you really have to. It is not a felt tip, it is a brush tip, which I really prefer. I feel like it has a much finer point um, when it needs to. And it also, it doesn't fray and it doesn't pick up eyeshadow the way that they sometimes can. Felt tips can sometimes get a little like crusty and goopy when you go over eyeshadow too much, but this, I have never had a problem with that. So. I adore this stuff, and if you are looking for a great liquid liner and haven't tried this, you really should. So there you have it. Those are my empties from these first four months of the year. Clearly, I, I don't really feel like I go through that much stuff typically because I switch back and forth between things so often. Skincare, I do try to stick with things a little more consistently, so I move through those at a little better speed. Uh, mascara, I try to switch them out at least halfway decently regularly because otherwise I'm going to end up with 20 mascaras that are open and that's just absurd. And then eyeliners, of course, I do use those every single day. So even though I have probably 20, you know, I have five or six that I reach for the most regularly and I always reach for them. So 
they tend to move pretty fast as well. So have you tried any of these products? Are there any that you loved or that you hated or that you just disagree with me vehemently on and we need to fight it out in the comments? Or are there any that you're like, Oh my god, I haven't tried that and I really need to now. So uh, if you have any strong thoughts about these, please leave them down in the comments below. Of course, give me a thumbs up. It helps a lot. It helps other people see this so that I can share with them as well. And of course, also subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram on both of those. I am at LookLovelyLaura. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys!